And now it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock God Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup, Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher, by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock God Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Corey Sandin this morning. Rock God Rick's out of town, and uh, boy, we have a great show today. Rod Halpern, Jack Graham from War Heroes on Water, and we're going to have Anthony Shea and Steve Lasley, too, on the phones. It's going to be a great show honoring our veterans, and uh, it's going to be fantastic. Wait till you hear what's going on today. It's going to be fantastic. So stay tuned. This is Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090. San Diego. Do you need a vehicle that's built ready for your next adventure? Well, your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered with the 2021 Ford Ranger. This adventure-ready truck is built with durable features like its frame-mounted step bumpers and high-strength steel frame. But that's not all. The Ford Ranger also has an available terrain management system with four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Looking to tow your boat or trailer to your next adventure? No problem. The 2021 Ford Ranger can handle that too and has smart technology like Bliss with trailer coverage to assist changing lanes and makes driving so much better when towing your boat or trailer. Visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or buyfordnow.com to learn more. That's buyfordnow.com and they'll be glad to hook you up. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone. Whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a Sport boat. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So, bottom line is if you don't have fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain! Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. All right, good morning, and welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. And today is one of those days that just touches you, Pete. Yeah. Because some of the stories already. Is. It's a special day. Yeah, 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 totally. It's a very special day, and uh, great to have you, Corey. And uh, this is the Corey weekend this weekend, so great to have you yes, here. Sir. Rock on Rick's out of town, and uh, we're here at the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup here, watching the long-range boats come in. And what a couple of great guests here. Uh, first, uh, I guess you would be the director rod of war heroes on water is that correct yeah i'm the tournament that director tournament director yeah good morning good morning it's great to be here again uh we love coming in and you know coming to san diego and talking yeah. about this uh, super special event that we got going on yeah and i know we'll get a chance to tell everybody all about uh, it oh yeah and you have uh one of our favorite uh wounded warriors here uh jack we call him wounded warriors i don't know sure uh, well, yeah he's you, a well, yeah he's, he's a, vet. a veteran yeah <laughs> but but you've served your time and you've paid your dues for sure jack graham who's uh been a friend of uh, ours for many many years good morning jack Good morning, Pete and Curry. Great to have you. And uh, so tell us what this event is. It's an, it's an actual well, event, right? Right, yeah. So War Heroes on Water, it's a, it's a charity fishing tournament that hosts and benefits wounded war veterans. So for this year, we're going to host 100 vets are coming in. 100 vets. 100 vets are coming in. Is this a record this year? It is. Like, it, we were supposed to do it last year with COVID. We brought it down. Just, you know, so this is it. Like, we, our goal is to host 100 vets. I'm going to have somewhere 37, 38, 39 in that number of private sport fishing yachts that have volunteered, donated their yachts, their crew, their tackle, their everything 
to take these guys. We're going to load them up at a, off the dock in Newport Beach on Saturday afternoon. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Do a little boat parade and stuff like that. Head out to sea Saturday, Saturday evening. These guys fish all day Sunday, fish all day Monday, come into Avalon for a weigh-in and closing ceremony, fly over, and they, they're on the boat the whole time. Wow. So when we say War Heroes on water, the on-water part is no joke. Like, they're on super hot sport fishing yachts with hot – you know, hot shot crews yeah. fishing for a couple of days, wherever they want to fish around here, fishing for everything from calico bass to bluefin tuna, mm-hmm. marlin, swordfish, you name it, all included in the tournament. And then we have an awards banquet back in Newport, but it's also a fundraiser. It's a charity. Um, our partner, Freedom Alliance, is a special group that supports Wounded War veterans. They're a nonprofit. Every dollar that we collect through donations goes directly to them. We don't have a checking account. We never touch a nickel. They pay the invoices we have to pay. They keep the rest. And their programs, um, they specialize in these outdoor excursions for wounded war vets and how healing it is to be fishing and camping and sure. on the water. And a camaraderie that goes with it. Oh, gosh. Too. I, I mean, mean, that's, that's got to be a huge part. You know, this is our fourth year. We've, uh, we've built community within the vets, between the yacht crews and the vets, between the tournament staff and the vets. Um, we, we like to think we're making a difference. Um, I, I know we are. We yeah. we lifting each other up. We got each other's backs, and especially like these days, it's super oh, important. Oh, with what's happening over in Afghanistan right now, this is yeah. so important to yeah, take so the, care of. So our the guys. timing the timing is important. Uh, the cause is great. Uh, we set a lofty goal this year. We wanted to host a hundred vets. We're doing it. We wanted to raise a million dollars. And we just crossed that line. So oh, now, wow. so no, Anthony's going to move the goalpost. Like we know what's going to happen these last four weeks. The event's the first weekend in October. So now I'm sure my goal is going to be 1.2, 1. 1.3, 1. or 1. 1.5. <laughs> you know, Anthony Shea. Uh, we're not going to rest. We're going to say, oh, we got it. We're taking a break. And, and so you give this this money goes to Freedom Alliance. And what is Freedom Freedom Alliance basically takes care of of, of war vets on outdoor excursions. They, that's one of the things that's that they one do. Of the that, that's kind of their niche, and Jack could probably speak to that. They also, like, there's a scholarship fund for Gold Star families. I, I know they've given over a million dollars in scholarships so these kids can go to college. Wow. I've seen them. They, they help the guys that they need, like, you know, a special equipment and things they need to live their life. They need help paying their bills. Maybe they're having a rough spot. Whatever the, whatever the vets do, these guys are specialists. They've got a program down in Costa Rica where guys come down and you know, this is a big event with the hundred vets. They do small, little three, four, five person. Yeah, ten, ten guys so, took ten of us up to Sitka, Alaska. Took us fishing. Really? Awesome. No, no, that group of ten guys are really close. Yeah. So it's just so really it cool bonds uh, vets Absolutely. together. Absolutely. Yeah. So what was that? What was that trip like? You went to Sitka and uh, tell us about that trip, Jack. So uh, Freedom Alliance sent us. Get up. a little closer to that mic. Freedom Freedom Alliance sent us up there. Uh, we stayed at Vonnie's Adventures on the coast up there. Uh-huh. Uh, two boats, ten guys. Rain for the first two days. Of course, caught it's a, Sitka, right? Caught a lot of fish. Yeah. Uh, salmon, halibut, and then black cod. Nice. You know, it was and it was just great. We we uh, had great food, great uh, fellowship. Uh, met some guys I didn't know. Either there were guys, SF guys. Uh, there were uh, uh, grunts. There are guys with disabilities. They all have disabilities of some sort, somehow. They're all combat veterans. Mm-hmm. And uh, we ended up coming home with 60 pounds of fish each. Wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> so cool. That's awesome. And somehow. And this was all paid for by Freedom Alliance. Freedom Alliance, yeah. And all these vets came from all over the country. All over the country. And that's what's going on with these 100 vets that are coming in. You're flying them in and putting them up from all over the country. They are. There's some local ones. Jack's local here. And there's a few that can come by car. But by and large, these guys are getting on an airplane. They're flying out here. Like I said, they're going to arrive on Friday. We've got a little powwow set up for them for that and meet their crews and stuff like that. And like I said, but they get on that boat Saturday, and they're really not getting off except for being on the pier in Avalon until Tuesday morning. Wow. So, okay. and, and we're going to take them fishing. How fun. It's, it's awesome. And what so, a great event you guys have put the together. The bonding, the camaraderie, the fundraising. And really, for me, it's super cool. It's, the, it, it's our community. It's us fishing and boating guys for the most part that started this thing, the grassroots thing. Yeah. We're saying, hey. We love these guys who want to do it. You know, driving down here, Pete, I drove through Camp Pendleton from Orange County. Right. I'm looking across over here at, at North Island, at, at, at the air base right. there. I worked at Point Loma at Cabrillo and drove through Fort Rosecrans, which is our West Coast version of Arlington. Mm-hmm. we got Coronado over here with the SEALs. These people are our people. And our all these yachts we're looking at, they're, i got yachts from San Diego all the way up to Redondo. Everybody's wow. piling in to come into this thing and host these guys. Yeah. I mean, I got 36, 37, 38 yachts <laughs> donating it for this. Donating I, their yachts and donating their crews, their tackle, yeah. and, and their fuel and everything. everything. They, they pick wow. up, they're covering the nut. 
um, hiring special hotshot captains and stuff like that, like yeah. doing everything. And I'd have twice as many if this tournament were doing it in October. A lot of guys heading south for Bisbee, dying to get in this thing. They're leaving at the same time. So I'd have 80 yachts Like wow, if I was doing that, it. That is so If cool. I had a place to put them you know, sure. just a few weeks earlier. So our community loves these guys. Yeah. And so, like I said, we've, I've had 1,000 people donate over a million dollars so far. And now we've got a new campaign where you can text uh, – the W H O W to to uh, eight zero one zero zero, okay. And if you do that, you donate ten bucks. And so what I want to so, show so 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 we are asking our our listeners. We have thousands of listeners listen. Let's talk about yeah. just ten bucks. Ten bucks. Uh, so you send a text to eight zero one zero zero. Hang on, say the number. I want to do it right now. Okay, say, yeah, say, say the number eight zero one zero zero. Okay, so pretty like, simple. So Hang you just here. put that in, and then as 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 like the, the recipient as the phone number. Yeah, yeah as a phone number, and then like and then just W H O W. And then and then the text line. Yeah. Right. You, you, you put in W H O W W H O W. Okay, which stands so for War Heroes on Water. Okay, okay. we so, call it Wow. Okay, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. W H O W. So I just did that, and it says, uh, okay, I "Thanks, send it. thanks for." Pur- I sent it, and it says, "Thanks for purchasing ten dollars." Um, I got the and, same thing. And, and basically, it just goes on your phone bill. Yeah, to go to yeah. AT and T or whatever. It your just carriers. goes on. It just goes on your. F- f- yeah, so it says. Uh, there it is. I just got yeah. the. Uh, yeah, Freedom Alliance replies yes. J- you have to put yes. Put yes in the, in the line there. Thanks your your ten dollar charge to your phone. War here is up. Um, uh, the Freedom of uh, hundred hundred dollars for a Freedom Alliance donation. War here is up up to okay. So you can throw in it up to a hundred. Yeah, you can do it ten want. times. But you should test yeah. that and see so if, if that you works. Do, <laughs> so if you do it ten times, but a maximum of ten times. Yeah, yeah. So you can do it more than once. But, but yeah. if you do it once, and that's all we're asking our listeners, yeah, do it once. But if you want to do more for these uh, war heroes, uh, it's ten dollars. Yeah, ten dollars for the bill. Yeah, for the testing, it's super easy. I I, I can't wait yeah. to get on the microphone and tell these guys at the party. That I had from Let's Talk Hook Up, this many people do it. And yeah. overall, like I, I, as many as we can to show these guys our love. That's now, cool. So easy, I just did it. Yeah, Corey well, uh, could do it. Yeah, that's, now, that's, that's awesome. Now, I don't want to limit guys to 10 bucks. If you really, you know, last year, uh, Pete, if you recall, one of your, one of your listeners donated $1,000. $1,000. We, uh, last that's year awesome. on the show, we, we, de- we generated, I think, a couple 2500 bucks or so yeah. in donations off. So if you go to warheroesonwater.com and to donate now, you can give as much as, your, as, credit, much as, you as, as your credit card limit. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's cool. But, you know, this morning, if you just want to do the $10, uh, sure. again, uh, text 80100. And then in the, um, in the, in the, in, in the, the line that says when you normally would put a text, just put W-H-O-W, then it'll send you a text. You have to put yes. It doesn't matter whether it's capitals. It doesn't have to be capitals, just anything. Just uh, And and then it, 10 bucks goes on your phone. So, Jack, That's how awesome. important is it going to be to the guys when I stand up there and say, I got these thousand people gave a million bucks. I got these thousand gave 10 bucks over the phone because we did stuff like went on the radio show and, and talked to people that, that care. Hey, uh, I'm sorry, Jack. That's I mean, okay. it just it touches me so yeah. deeply because – and I'm sorry to interrupt you. It truly – but what just happened in Afghanistan, if that doesn't touch the listeners, yeah. I, 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 I don't know what would. But, yeah. Jack, I'm sorry. No, it's uh, – it's, I don't want to talk about the, the administration, but, yeah. uh, you know, I, I hang to the right. So um, it's, it's very honored to be here today. It's my honor to be here and to uh, represent More Heroes on the Water Freedom Alliance. Uh, it's a sad time. Um, the uh, – Two one was a unit that uh, I was close to. I was at First Marine Division as the SMDR, and those are unfortunately the the sailors and the Marines that died. The casualties. The casualties. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And wow. then we have then we have some more casualties that we don't know about yet. Sure. You know, another fifteen Marines or sailors or Army Army personnel that yeah. were injured. So, you know, maybe someday they'll be with us. Yeah. Correct. But so so. What boat are you fishing on? So let's talk a little bit about the fishing part of this whole War Heroes on Water. So I fished on, I fished on Incognito. I fished on uh, Motivator. Okay. Uh, both beautiful boats. These are custom sports fishing boats. These things are unbelievable. I mean, I have a 36 jersey. It's a dinghy to these guys. <laughs> and, and, you know, Motivator has a salad bar, sandwich bar inside of it. Nice. Just like in a restaurant. You know, nice. it's just laid out. It's nice and cold, and, and it's beautiful. Um, I'm fishing with uh, Jock and Charlie uh, Albright this year, oh, so it'll be a man. navy. It'll be an all navy team. A seal. I finally got a seal buddy of mine to on come which along. Boat? 
Kiakai. Oh, Kiyakai. on Kiakai. Oh, yeah, and Jock yeah. is such yeah. a great guy. Yeah, yeah. He's, no, guy. he's Navy. He's but, former Navy. Uh, I didn't the, know that. Those are the kind of guys that step up and do this. Um, 44 Pacifica, 44 right? 44 Pacifica yeah. that's, you know, iconic. And in fact, this year we... For, to host the hundred vets, we, we used to like limit it. You got to be able to carry three vets. So Forty four Pacifica wasn't quite enough vote for this, but when we brought it down to two, uh, so it's two vets per two boat? or three depending on on the size on the size of the, the, size of the boat. Yeah. We brought it down to number one just to open it up so I get more yachts. And but uh, to be honest with you, when I wanted to do this, uh, Jock and the Kiakai was like the target audience. Like I need guys like that. You know who else is in this? Our friend Allie on the Surly Mermaid. Mm-hmm. Wow. And she's going to be so, hosting two okay. female vets. Oh, nice. On her boat. Yeah. So we'll have a couple female teams this year. But all of our friends, like all these right people, yeah. good fishermen, hearts in the right place. Sure. I can tell you that the yachts I recruited to join this year were all the ones that stepped up and donated big the first year just to be part of this thing when they weren't in, when we had 12 yachts and hosted, you know, 37 vets on the back of the Bad Company 144. Wow. But I went to my people that were donated that we knew – and said, hey, we're opening it up so you guys can really, That's so really cool. be part of this. That is so cool. So the, the owners of these boats and the crews of these boats, we look at them as super patriots. Um, they're, they're giving their time. They're giving their money. They're giving their crew. They're giving us, you know, a trip that guys look for all year. An all experience. Year. I can't even imagine how excited these vets must be. Oh, the guys, guys get involved, and they want to – this their highlight of the year. Yeah, it gets them out of the house. It gets them away. Yeah. You know, all the vets that are sitting in a room right now, uh, feeling sad about this whole thing. Yeah, uh, they should feel sad. Most of us feel angry about it. Yeah, but you got to get out. You got to get out of your house. You got to go out and experience. Go fishing. Yeah, go play frisbee golf. Go golf. Go do something. Get out of the house and go experience life. Yeah, and and That's these cool. people are coming from across the country, correct? I mean, oh, it's yeah. not all just over, a... all over the states. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, North Carolina. You know, New York. Florida, yeah. all the way across the country, and, and they all get flown in. They all get treated well. We stay at a hotel the night before. God, the camaraderie must be incredible, right? It, it, so most vets, uh, I, I wouldn't say most vets, but most of us are, are not very trusting of outsiders. Yeah. So when we get together, we all have a common bond. Sure. You know, we've been shot at. We've been blown up. Something's happened. We've sure. been to combat, and you have a different camaraderie. Same thing with sports fishermen. You know, they have the same kind of thing. They sure. want to get out on the water. They want to get away. They want to get out of their brain because, you know, these these super yacht owners, these guys run multi-million dollar businesses. Sure. You know, and they go out to see just to get the crap out of their head, right? Right. Same with us. That's what we want to do. Yeah. That's what vets need to do. They need to get out of their heads, and they need to go enjoy the water. And, and the a lot of these place. vets are, are are missing limbs and oh, yeah. legs and arms and oh, things yeah. like that, But right? you wouldn't know it. Yeah. You know, the, the way they get around? Yeah. Yeah. That's so, pretty, pretty unreal. So, so Brian, Brian Meyer, who you know, we just showed the picture of, you know, he was a bomb tech. Uh-huh. Uh, he lost his forearm. He lost a leg. Uh, he lost a part of his hand on the other hand. Wow. And he's catching 200-pound tuna. Oh, that's, that's so cool. <laughs> that is. And what a thrill for these guys. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. And your participation in this today is very important, not only on the phones today, but also by texting 80100 and then uh, put in the in the subject line or the uh, the text the WHOW and donate 10 bucks. Simple. It's, it's, easy. it's as yeah. easy as it gets, yeah. Pete. So and, we, and, we're asking for your phone calls today to talk about uh, – fishing and uh, ask Rod and Jack about uh, the experience. Uh, we're going to hear from some great people on the phone like Anthony and Steve and a lot more. So I like it, Pete. And, and that number to, to call, if you want to call in, there is a, an open line right now, 213-432-1090, as Pete mentioned. And there you could also text the show. Maybe there's a you don't want to wait on hold and instantly we'll get the text. Uh, just go on the app. And if you haven't done so yet, download the app. Super easy, super free. And there's a, a button there that says text the show. You can send us a text. Just uh, make sure you include your name and where you're from. It and makes that us... text doesn't cost you anything. Nothing. No, no, no. no. <laughs> not, not at all. And, again, the number 213-432-1090. We're giving away a full-day trip on the San Diego 
out of C4 Sport Fishing. Man, some incredible yeah. fishing they've been having. Pete. Oh, I want to go. Gosh. I want to go. Yeah, right? you want to go on that? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I you, know. Oh, yeah, you're going to be catching fish here real soon, Jack. Yeah, I'm sure. definitely. Hey, stuff. nothing but good times here on Let's, Let's Talk Hookup. We're going to be right back. It's Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 and the Let's Talk Hookup app. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our hardworking crew will make sure your fishing experience is one to remember. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet is second to none. Fisherman's Landing is a full-service operation offering great half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day open party trips on the spacious and comfortable Liberty. Since we introduced the full-day trips at Fisherman's Landing, the 85-foot Liberty has become a favorite among full-day operations with bunks for your comfort, huge bait capacity, and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big modern galley and two interior heads with showers. All our open party trips from half day, full, or one to three day trips can easily be booked online at fishermanslanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer resorts have become a destination for travel. Travelers worldwide, but for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the Easy Cape's finest. Hey anglers, AFCO Pro Captain Ben Florentino of Coastal Charters here. As a full-time guide, I'm on the water all year long. It's my livelihood. Having the right clothing is of the utmost importance to staying warm, dry, cool and comfortable to endure whatever the Pacific wants to throw at me. Thankfully, I'm equipped with AFCO clothing to keep me dialed season after season. Do yourself a favor and check out AFCO's award-winning gear at a dealer near you or learn more at AFCO.com. All of us at the American Angler family want to express appreciation to our regular passengers that fish with us year after year and to the new anglers that came out this last season. We realize how precious your vacation time is, and we are truly grateful that you have chosen to spend this time with us. It's important that your experience is memorable from the moment you call the office to the time you step off the boat. Hi, I'm Lori. Call me at the office, 619-223-5414, or check us out at AmericanAnglerSportFishing.com. Come fishing with the American Angler family and make a memory. All right, welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. And, man, it's just uh, one of those days that's very, very special, Pete. And if you want to give us a shout, 213-432-1090. And uh, we're giving away a full-day trip on the San Diego out of Sea Force. Yeah, just for calling in and uh, participating in the show today, talking fishing with uh, and talking about War Heroes on Water. And uh, here's a special guy on the line right now, Captain Steve Laz. Good morning, Steve. Laz. Good morning, Pete. How are you? Hey. Nice to hear from you, Steve. Now, you've been a big part of this uh, War Heroes on Water for uh, since the inception, right? And uh, why don't you tell us about uh, what this all means to you? Well, you know, I've done a lot of different things in my life. And um, personally, I've, I've never had anything that was quite so gratifying. And, you know, I mean, just everything about it. You hate to sound dramatic or anything, but just the... The, the time you get to spend with these uh, true heroes and what they've been through and get to share some moments with them that uh, brighten it up for them. You, you know, you'll, you'll never have uh, anything more, like I said, more gratifying in your life. It's, uh, it's uh, so emotional when you get in, you know, at the end of the trips, you're just completely 100% drained and, and you're watching these guys, the camaraderie that they have and the work ethic and, their positive attitudes towards everything that's going on. And, uh, you know, it's just, it, you, you, the, just words have never been formed that can, that can really truly 
say what the, all the feelings that, that, that you're having and everything that goes through you on these short trips and these short times with these guys. Wow. That, that's so cool. And so what boat are you running, Steve? Well, naturally, it's going to be one of the bad company boats. And uh, th- this year, this year, it's a 75. Sweet. And, um, you know, we, we, we don't know. It's a roll of the dice what guys we're going to get. But every year, I think, man, I got the most special guys on the planet. And then, you know, the next year, you get guys that are just equally special, a little bit different, you know. And, um, yeah, since the inception is for sure. Uh, like the very first minute it was discussed and um you know we we shortly after that we had a group of guys uh come on board and and you know then the real thing was spawned down in costa rica but first we brought a group of guys down there to cabo and a lot of those guys are the kingpins now that are uh you know our our, our baseline guys for for building this thing up yeah for freedom alliance Involved in yes, Freedom sir. Alliance. Well, for, 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 for the WOW group and, and Freedom Alliance both, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Steve, uh, this is a fishing competition, and I know you. You're a very competitive guy. I've won many tournaments and uh, many uh, successes in your fishing career. Uh, I know it's, uh, I mean, do you guys get pretty competitive, too, uh, that you're taking out fishing? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're, they're the most, they're, they all want to win, you know, and so it's it's kind of a, um, you know, there, there's, it's a little bit difficult with the guys that are driven like, like us and the guys that are as competitive as us, but we really do share information well. All the captains do. There's no little secret groups or anything that goes on. It's pretty much we lay all the information out because, you know, we, we, number one, we want to just be bent all day long with every, you know, different species of possible. And I, I don't know how much you guys have discussed the format. But oh my goodness, what a what a great format! You know, Rod came up with with uh, you know all the um, calico bass, yellowtail, white sea bass. You know, all the all the different uh, point scales and levels, and you know, it's it's pretty awesome. I I I actually think he nailed it. Yeah. So so what are you gonna what Steve Lousy, Captain Steve Lousy, going after on the seventy five? Bad company. Everything. Well, you know, it depends on uh, what's around, you know. And then you look at the points board and you go, oh, well, you know, the Dorados are worth 10 points each. So you want to get a bunch of Dorado, and each tuna is worth 10 points each. But wait a minute. You know, if I get a calico over 7 pounds, it's going to beat a 200-pound tuna. So I want to yeah, I love it. 8-pound calico, you know. And so you, you really kind of got to, in October, that's probably my favorite month to fish. And so, you know, you were going to have everything from, you know, striped marlin, uh, you know, potentially sea bass. Some guys caught halibut. I wanted to fish for halibut, and I didn't do it. And it's just, you know, it's gosh darn it. It's uh, he really did nail it. For Southern California, you could not beat what Rod set up as far as far as you know the the weight scale and points system. That's cool. So talk about that, Rod. Talk about the the, 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 the tournament itself and the points and, and, and the sure. qualifying species. Steve, yeah. Steve's got to hone his his uh, game right, right. now. So, yeah, so we include everything. Um, the op- first of all, I want to say, like, five minutes into the first tournament or just co- coming out of Avalon, uh, Steve's got his vets tripled up on 200-pound bluefin off yeah. of the bad company. <laughs> of course. Sent one of them out in the skiff, you know, long-range style. So that's, that's how he kicked off the first tournament, and he won it, of course. But um, so we fish for all the offshore species, yellowfin tuna, bluefin tuna, marlin, swordfish, dorado, yellowtail, uh, then the inshore stuff, rockfish, calico, halibut, and sea bass. And you get to keep, you get points for catching keepers up to five. Like if you're fishing with Dave Hansen, I don't care if you catch a thousand calico bass, we're going to score the first five. Any way you're heaviest for each species, for each angler. And then for calico bass and bluefin, to, to Steve's point, we have a special table that like you get points per pound for your heaviest one, 
But a 10-pound calico bass, we all know how important that is. That's probably going to win the tournament unless someone gets a sea bass. That's wow. our first wow. fish. I love it. So we have a sliding skill for that. And the same for the tunas. Like, yeah, I don't need one guy getting a giant bluefin and killing everybody on stuff. So you get points, and then the heavier the fish is, the less points per pound you get. Like, okay. we just did some math. You're just making cool. it fun. You, yeah, you've so, done a great job of, of making it fun. Well, and these poor captains, like, okay, I need gear for calico bass. I need to fish rockfish, and I need stuff for swordfish oh, and my. marlin. And we're going to tr- – and, and you look at the tackle that these guys have lined up on their boat and the guys like steve that are trying to put strategy behind it it's a chess game and they're scratching their head and staying up late at night either love me or hate me probably bold <laughs> um, but it, it is it lets the guys and you can win this thing on the anchor you know you can win this thing fishing inshore you can sure. win this thing on a kelp patty you can win this thing on a, some school of blue fin. you can win this thing if you get into the marlin and catch a bunch of marlin if you find a swordfish a surface swordfish worth a thousand points wow so um a deep drop one's worth a hundred like there's still a nice fish but oh, like wow. but we we handicap the deep drop guys and we limit how much time a guy can do that but we want them to give them a shot at it if sure. they want so we we're trying to think of everything that's happening locally Gosh, if the albacore swim around, we'll add. We'll find a way to add them. I thought about adding lobster this year because it's in lobster season. Oh, lobster but season. I figured they'd probably oh, hang me from gosh. the outrigger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's going no. I, 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 I'd follow him into the bathroom at some point and, and put his head under for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but 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 we do make it a, a, a first of all, whatever's biting, it's gonna. Yeah, we, they can fish for something if the weather's up. They can fish inside and, and still have some fun. The vets love fishing the calico and, and you know, pin sure. we want to make sure that they're not trolling around for two days the, right. the guys are going to handle some tackle they're going to pin on a sardine they're how gonna fun do all that stuff fish it, for it some just cod. get some action yeah right? fish for cod get rattled yeah. last year you know the guys that won went out to nick and they clobbered the the, the rock fish wow. and then they came in and they found a kelp that had dorados and they caught a marlin on the way in and they caught some yellowtail and they caught some big calicos at clemeni what like, an assortment so yeah so i mean think of being think of hitting all those islands all that different stuff in two days of fishing yeah and of course october traditionally best, best month of the year weather wise so that should hopefully all work out that way and yeah knock on wood is say is a and and steve so are you, you going to kind of fish for it all you were just talking about that i know i've you were like white sea bass master i know you've got a lot of halibut but calico bass i've never heard steve lasley catching calico bass what really well, we we almost won it the second year with with calicos, and uh, we had a bunch of six and seven pounders, and we oh. we'd actually we had actually spent two or three days catching a bunch of uh, secret bait that we're not going to talk about <laughs> because we're we're probably going to do it again this year, and we had a tank full of those, and we were just clobbering the five, six, seven pound calicos. Oh man. And, oh. Um, we're not going to say it was herring, which you, you are very difficult to find anymore, but we spent a few <laughs> days uh, tanking up with those, so we were throwing a lot of brown baits. And, uh, you know, it, it, we, we just had a great time. And then we had a couple of 200-pound tuna, but then Seth went out and caught one that was like 300 and just – Hurt everybody's feelings. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's and I know it's a lot of your buddies are fishing with you on other boats, and uh, and you said you all communicate, huh? You all share your information. Yeah, we we try to pretty much. I mean, you know, there's there's some pretty strong competitive stuff going on, but sure. Yeah, for the most part, I think if people are catching marlin, you know, we're putting out where the marlin are, and you know, if the tunas are biting, we put out where the tunas are biting, and you know, uh, there was a, a couple of guys, and, <laughs> you know, like I said, we're competitive. There was a little bit of yellowfin that a few of us didn't know about, but uh, the, and the guys ran down there and, and tried to catch them. Luckily, they didn't get any. That'll teach them. And, uh, <laughs> or very few. And, and uh, you, you know, it's just, doggone, it's it's fun, and it's humbling, and, man, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's probably my favorite event ever. Wow, and you've done them all, biz from Bisbee to, to everything else. Uh, I, I know you've done them all. So that's uh, Captain Steve Lasley. I know uh, I know the vets uh, fishing with you are lucky guys because you're certainly one of the best there is, and uh, uh, we're honored to have you here on Let's Talk Hookup. And 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 I'm sure uh, uh, the vets are going to have a great time fishing with you. Yeah, man. You know, and I just got to give a shout out to Rod and. You know, all the people, Anthony, for putting this thing on, for sure, Anthony, you know, and all, he is, you know, is tireless. We all know his, how driven that guy is, and he really has put a lot into this thing to make, to make it all come together. And oh, yeah. super grateful for him, and but especially these young men that have given so much, uh, you know, we'll just, our gratitude, we'll never be able to repay him for, for, for what they've done for us in our country. 
No question about it. Well, Steve Lasley, thanks for the time, and uh, good luck in the tournament. I can't wait to hear about your 10-pound calico. I love it. <laughs> All right. Corey's, Corey's really excited about it, that. Right? Yeah. I, I like the fact that seven pound calico beat out a 200 pound bluefin. I'm all over it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the scale is it's, it's really fun, man. I mean, there's so many levels. It's just a great time. That's thanks for cool. having me. All right. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate that. All right. Let's find out what's biting down. Let's talk candidly about long-range fishing. This is Captain Frank Capresti of the Royal Players and Shogun. Nowhere on earth will you find a fleet of long-range boats like we have in San Diego. We are fortunate to have several top-notch operations to take you to the most productive fishing grounds in the world. We all offer good food, comfortable staterooms, huge bait capacity, and top-of-the-line fish-finding electronics. So why would you choose the Royal Polaris or the Shogun for your next long-range trip? What sets us apart from the rest? It's pretty simple. The boats, the crew, and the service. From the moment you arrive at Fisherman's Landing, the service begins. We help you load your gear and do everything possible to get beginners or seasoned veterans ready to catch fish. When it's time to fish, the Royal Polaris and the Shell Gun have the edge there, too, delivering the two best fishing platforms in the fleet. But don't take my word for it. Come fishing with us. If you want the best, it's Royal Polaris and the Shell Gun. For more information, call 619-226-8030 or on the web at royalpolarissportfishing.com or shogunsportfishing.com. Hey, guys. This is Ali Husseini from Local Knowledge Media Outdoors. I'm a lucky guy in so many ways, and one thing I'm really grateful for is my little brother, Yosef. Yosef is not only a fellow angler, but he's also an amazing realtor that specializes in helping us in the angling community find the ultimate home. If you own a home, get a free no-obligation evaluation online now by typing in SoCalHomeEval.com. That's SoCalHomeEval.com. All you do is put in your address, and you'll get a home value report immediately sent to your email. No pressure, no obligation just answers. Yosef is the SoCal real estate go-to guy. He's helped me and so many of my fellow fishing buddies find what they're looking for in a home. He knows anglers and he understands the real estate market. Not only that, but he's also a really nice guy. How many brothers can you say that about? Go to SoCalHomeEval.com and find out where you stand in the real estate market and then get with Yosef and find your ultimate home. Again, go to SoCalHomeEval.com and we'll see you on the water. There are plenty of boat slips and marinas in San Diego, but there's only one on Kona Kai. It's not just a place to park your boat. It's a way of life here in America's finest city. The Kona Kai Resort Spa and Marina has multiple swimming pools and a private beach, waterfront restaurants, and award-winning spa, most of which is included for marina tenants. Check ResortKonaKai.com for more information. The Kona Kai Resort, much more than just a place to park your boat. Have you been looking for a live bait hook that keeps live bait alive? Look no further than Japan's leading fish hook, Gamakatsu. It's the little things that make the difference, and Gamakatsu hooks drive the point home. With an absolute perfect bend and ideal barbs, your bait swims harder and longer. And when you get bit, Gamakatsu hooks bite back with a vengeance. All hooks are not the same. Go with Gamakatsu for infinite success. Gamakatsu, simply the best. Check Gamakatsu.com. All right, good morning. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. And here we are. And yeah. as we're going to go, we're going to go to the cast, man. Yeah, let's uh, find out. It's sponsored by Anza Knives, handcrafting knives in the USA for three decades. And they have, of course, the Fish Pro Series, the Bluefin and Yellowfin from Anza Knives, high carbon steel. They have a great edge. Anza Knives are the finest fillet knives ever produced. And if you want to go see Heidi and Don today at the Crossroads of the West Gun Show in Orange County and Costa Mesa, go check them out. Uh, they're going to be there. They have special deals for Let's Talk Hookup people. So go by Crossroads of the West Gun Show today and tomorrow. Go see Anza Knives and Heidi and Don and get a special deal on an Anza Knives there at, uh, in Costa Mesa. And good morning, cast man. Hey, buenos dias, Pete and Corey. Hey, those ends of knives are great. Yes, if you they. remember, if you if you remember, I won one uh, December uh, a year ago last December, and uh, I'll tell you, that thing still got a nice fine edge to it, especially filleting those uh, those fish and the, especially making some pokey with the uh, for the bluefin tuna. But great knives, I highly recommend them. Yes, nice. indeed. All right. Well, what's going on in the Baja? Well, you know, basically it's kind of the same, except, you know, in Loretto, uh, they had one heck of a Dorado week this uh, this past week. Uh, some nice fish up to 30 pounds. And, of course, talking to, you know, Danny Talamantes, our charter master down there, who we get all our boats from, 
said that uh, it was really good Dorado fishing. Uh, yellowtail just kind of disappeared this, this week. Uh, but as far as a good Dorado bite, uh, limits for, you know, everybody going out for them. And uh, so they're having a good time at Loretto. Moving down to La Paz there, more Dorado and La Paz, both out of the uh, bay, going to Espirito Santo Island area or going south to Muertos Bay, mm-hmm. out to uh, Saravo Island. Um, basically, it's Dorado and then inshore, lots of roosters. I mean, those things are, are hanging around this year. And uh, uh, not a lot of real giants, but uh, they're getting some nice, uh, you know, 10 to 20, 25-pound roosters and occasional 30-pounder. But uh, going good there. We move on down to San Jose del Cabo there in Cabo San Lucas. Um, of course, the main action is up inside the Sea of Cortez there. Quick run out of the marina there at the San Jose del Cabo uh, to the local spots there, the Iman, the San Luis, the Vino Rama area. Um, they're still whipping on the tuna down there, uh, mostly 15 to 30-pound tuna, but every now and then a 70, 80, 90-pounder being caught here again. The best way to catch them is drifting those dead sardinas or uh, the um, the chunk squid. Um, also, plenty of marlin around. I guess there was a kind of a flurry of black marlin that came into the area, and I guess they've been banging a few of those. And, of course, uh, right now it's mostly, mostly stripers, and the blues are slowly moving in also. But... Uh, so some good fishing going on uh, down in the San Jose del Cabo area. And um, looks like there's a few storms that are generating down south. Um, hopefully none of them make the uh, the tip of southern Baja or Baja itself. But, but uh, looks like uh, right now there's one that's generating off of Ixtapa Z Wantanejo area. And um, they're not sure which way that's going to track, whether it's going to go out. But they're thinking it may come inland and it may hit somewhere around Puerto Vallarta, Mastlan area, if it does continue up. But right now it's a tropical storm, but water temperatures are up, and, you know, they fuel on that that uh, hot water, and they just generate into hurricanes. So I'm sure everybody down south is keeping an eye on that one. But that's a report for this week, Pete. Anybody wants to book a trip into southern Baja, mainland Mexico, and all the other destinations we sell into Central America and South America, give us a call at Cast Tours. 800-593-6510 or on the web at www.castdoors.com. Talk to you boys next Saturday. Thanks, Castman. Appreciate that very much. Talk to you next Saturday. And uh, I had an interesting text. Uh, if you want to text the show again, uh, all you need to do is just go to Let's Talk Hookup uh, app and just hit text the show, and you can text us. We'll get a text. It's a one-way system. Uh, but uh, he's got a good question here. Uh, and it's Doug from Yakima, Washington, and uh, he says, "Are you guys a five hundred one c three? The Freedom Alliance is. It's a Freedom Alliance. So when you yeah. make a donation, when you make you when you text eight zero one zero zero and you make your ten dollar donation by putting in W H O W in the um, in the line uh, in the text, uh, when you make that ten dollar donation, it is a tax deductible donation. I." think so on the text that might be a little bit weird thing on the ten dollar thing but if you make a donation for sure on warheroesonwater.com and hit donate now it uh-huh. for sure is for sure so it, if you want to make a thousand dollar donation yeah. go to war heroes on water you spell it all out yep okay war heroes on water dot com and there's a donate now button donate you, now. you can go on there see pictures of jack and a bunch of the vets and the videos from all the tournaments we've done learn about it but there's a donate now button it takes you right to the free freedom alliance websites special page for war heroes on water okay and you can make your donation right there okay um any dollar amount from all right that you you know you can do 10 15 20 bucks there too well, on up to your heart's content or your credit card limit. Yeah, and then if you want to just do the text thing, eight eight text eight zero one zero zero, and then in, 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 when you text, you just text W H O W, and you can do that up to ten times. Correct. It's for a hundred dollar donation. Yeah, and yeah. that's just tagged on to the phone bill. It's super. Yeah, easy just to add to your phone yeah. bill. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's cool. I All would right. do it on mine, but it's a company phone, and that'd make Anthony just give these guys another ten bucks. And oh, Anthony, that's okay. Anthony's dug pretty deep. Yeah, he has you. dug pretty deep. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the phones, Corey. Let's do it, Pete. Let's talk to uh, Sean. Sean Cohn from Lomita. Good morning. Welcome. Let's Hi, talk Sean. I'd just like to say wow to you guys. That's just an awesome program you have going on there, taking more heroes out on the water. That couldn't be better. I have a, just a little bit of a personal thing I'd like to attach. Well, first, um, I have a visual disability, and I'm a special ed teacher. And every year I'd go on an eight-day trip, and the anticipation I had the whole time waiting to go out on my eight-day trip just, just made the whole school year go past a lot quicker. It's nothing compared to you guys. I never served. I just want to say thank you to that. And I have also another story. Back when we 
Yo's tackle was open. Um, I was in and out of there a lot, and there was you always you know you know talking to people. And this this veteran came in, and he had been serving in Afghanistan, and he went fishing out to Clementi and nailed a, a yellowtail and a halibut. And he just spoke about how important it was. He just the whole time he was in Afghanistan, he was anticipating going fishing. And then he came back. He got the jackpot on the I think the halibut, and uh, just a great story on on how. Fishing can can enlighten someone's day, even when you're not on the water. When you're when you're, I, I can't imagine what it is. Just thank you so much to all the more heroes out there. What a fantastic program you have going. And uh, can you uh, touch on any stories like that from from one of our veterans that, that look forward to going fishing or or uh, an experience that they have had on the water and how it just influenced their life? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, thanks for the story. I appreciate that. You know. We all um, love getting on the water. Some of these guys have never been on the water. Um, we catch guys who caught fish 300 pounds, 200 pounds, 8-pound calicos. Everybody looks forward to this. Uh, it changes lives. Uh, it makes us better. Better it makes us feel better about ourselves. We have friends um, now that we never had before. Um, and it's just, it's a real camaraderie between the vets and the, and the sport fish owners and the guys that are the real patriots, uh, like yourself. Um, and anytime you can go get somebody, grab somebody that's sitting in their house, not doing anything that's a vet, go grab them, get them out, get them, get out them, get them off their ass. Just yeah. Take them fishing. So I, I, I've got a quick story and it's this kid, Brian, that we talked about before. Uh, the first year of the tournament, he was fishing with Dave Hansen. They had a big 200. Captain Dave Sanson? Captain Dave You're Hansen. A saltwater You're guy. a saltwater guy. That guy. He was on Wild and Sack with those guys. They hooked a big bluefin. They fought it well into the dark. He was Facebook living it. The fish right at Gaff it pulled like part of the fish off. Like, they came in, it, they lost it. And, uh, you, know, right you, there. you know that feeling. Like oh, heartbroken. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah. So they come in the next day. We were anchored up at Long Point while they're waiting to get picked up to come to the party. Dave said, throw a mackerel out. He throws a mackerel out, catches a yellowtail. Throws another mackerel out, catches another yellowtail. Comes in, wins the yellowtail division. That's what this picture is. Wow. Oh, man. So, so afterwards, I came to the guy, and like, like you said, he's missing part of one hand, all of the other hand, one of his legs. And, and I say, hey, Brian, like, I know you guys got bad days. I hope it's a good one. He says, you see this smile? You couldn't take it off with surgery. Oh, no. man. How I'm cool like, is that? Like, that doesn't make you... Yeah. Like, I'll never forget that. That was my first really wow moment. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I have a very strong feeling, though, that, you know, between the Dave Hansons and yourself and Jack and Pete and myself, it's, like, competitive, right? You, you want to be competitive and take the two or three wounded warriors out. And, and we have a competitive edge. But I have a very strong feeling that... Between them, it's just being out. They don't care if they catch anything. I'm sure they do at some point, but it's just being on the water and, like you're saying, the camaraderie and getting them out and getting them away, getting their mind away from the disaster that could be offered on land. Well, you know? yeah. the, th the cool thing is that at the end of the tournament, we have a, a pretty good, really nice banquet. Yeah. You know, and uh, there are division winners. And so it is. It is kind of cool to get a trophy in this tournament. Really yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet it right. is. But, that, but that's, I mean, for us, really. That's you know? kind of the bonus. Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah, but these guys are lobbying me right now. Like, guys that know me, they're pinging me on Facebook, Messenger, calling me, texting me, because we make friends. Hey, make sure I, I want a trophy this year. Get me on a boat that's going to, like, get me on one of, like, you know, I got guys hitting me up, because we kind of do a little draft, right, where, yeah. we, where we line up. Okay, these vets are appropriate for this kind of yacht. Maybe if they got you know a limb thing, I'll put them on a bigger boat. Mm -hmm. um, if they're more mobile, maybe one of the smaller ones. And, mm -hmm. and we try and like match some personalities sure. and a few things like that. It's not just a random draw. Right now, I got two two person squads. Freedom Alliance makes the squad groupings, and then I work with them to pair them up on the right yacht. Okay. You may or may not wind up on Kia Cut, by the way. Say we what? haven't done the we haven't <laughs> done the draft, but I got my hand up. So you got to drive. Uh, so uh, so so, what's the smallest boat in the tournament? Uh, the smallest one right now is a thirty eight. Uh, Ocean, Dave Ogle, the sleeper, the guy that makes wow. up custom mattresses for all the yeah, yachts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's got a tricked out, repowered, oh, sea gosh. keeper, beautiful everything boat. beautiful. Yeah. We got Ali on the Surly Mermaid. I got a couple 40 uh, Cabos. Then we start getting into a 43 Cabo, some 44 Pacificas, and then on up to, I think my biggest yacht this year so far is a 100-footer Chile, the, the Angelica oh, wow. out of Newport. Beautiful. Yeah, we still may wind up with a 130-footer that uh, that was our, the Sea Lamari that was our kind of host boat last year. Yeah. They're coming down from Alaska. They get here on time they're in. How wow. cool is that? So what if, what if somebody's listening to this and wants to participate if not this year and maybe next, next year? Yeah, you know, I still got a couple spots. I got guys that I'm yeah. lining up right now, but if you've got a boat in that 40, 50, 60 class or whatever, 
big enough to host your crew, two or three vets on the water. You pull off the dock on Saturday, you're not coming back in. You got to have fuel, you got to have bait, you got to have fishing capabilities, you got to have a wallet to support this thing. And if you want to do it, rod at warheroesonwater.com is my email. Uh, go to the website, find me there, or just email me. Say, hey, I want, raise your hand. Say, I want to be in this thing either this year or next year because I'm building That's the fleet. Cool. And honestly, I need a couple extras because we always have, oh, my boat broke down. Or, you know, we're doing COVID protocols. A boat might get COVID out of this thing. Like, I want a couple extra boats. I'll spread the vets out. I'm not leaving sure. any vets on the dock. I'm not leaving any yachts tied to the dock that volunteer right. for this thing. So cool. Meet my quite criteria. I get to give them a smell test. Yeah. You know, I, I've turned a lot of yachts away. Either too small or really just, like, they're good at fishing in Cabo and they don't know where to catch calico bass yeah. around here. They don't have the gear. I'm like, sure. write a check. So, so how do you find the vets? Uh, Freedom Freedom, Alliance finds the best. Freedom Alliance. Freedom Alliance. And and what is Freedom Alliance? They, like I said, they are the nonprofit organization that is a is a vet benefit type. You know. Yeah, it's uh, you know, founders Ollie North. You know, Uh a really good patriot. Yeah. You know, and uh, they have all kinds of stuff that they do. Uh, They have the offshore experience down in Costa Rica. They buy homes for vets, disabled vets. Uh, They send uh, Gold Star. Family kids to college. Wow, uh, they do a lot. Do they a lot do for, a lot. The, and it's all, all about vets and wounded warriors. Correct. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Combat veterans. Combat veterans. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to be wounded, or is it that part of it? No, it's it's part of it. It's you know, but there's all kinds of different wounds. Oh, there's all kinds of different. So wounds. there's head wounds. You know, there's wounds you can't see. Yeah, you like know? you have. A lot of wounds you can't see. <laughs> well, on the, uh, I mean, real wounds what from the war. Deep? No, that means from, I mean from the war. Yeah. I think Pete's calling you out. Yeah. No, from the war. Well, you know, yeah. I was in a long time, and I, I didn't do Afghanistan, uh, yeah. but I started going to the Persian Gulf in 1987. Yeah. So, which was a while ago. You know, yeah. when Iran Iraq were fighting, and then I uh, went back again. You know, it's one of those things. You got there in '87. I said to myself, I said, I hope you never have to come back here. Your, your son, your daughter, never has to come back there. Yeah. Well, guess what? My son's back there right now. In the oh Navy. boy. So, yeah. how uh, many how many surgeries have you had from your war injuries? Uh, over over a period of time, uh, probably ten. Wow! But you know, some of the new stuff was great. You know, I wish I had had what's called laser ablation surgery on my back recently, uh, basically to get rid of the pain. Yeah. Uh, from my lower legs, uh, from my back injury, and uh, you know, it's I'm much better now, and I can fish better. You know, I was I was out on the bad company seventy five. Um, what were we at, three weeks ago? Yeah, about Three or four yeah. weeks ago. Pulled on some really nice tuna. Pretty happy about it. Um, and uh, the back was pretty good. And, uh, you know, 90-pounder that just didn't want to die. You know, and you've had those. You know, oh, you yeah. Get the two, you get the 200-pounders that just will come to the boat, and then you get like a 90-pounder that, that, that it just like hurts you. Teenager hurt Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was on an old Peabod rod. Wow. With oh, the tal- with the, with the talica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're getting one of the little pee bottle rods. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, uh, Wayne Cotto from CCA is on the line. Good morning, Wayne. Good morning, Wayne. Good morning, guys. How you all doing? Hey, doing great. So a uh, big uh, benefit uh, for CCA going on today, right? Yeah, we're at 22nd Street Landing right now, and uh, we're setting it up, and uh, we got Calabas- Calabasas Catering already fired up the barbecue, and oh, my God, it smells so good. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have our banquet out here at 22nd Street. Lane starts at 11 o'clock till 3. Still tickets available. Man, we're looking forward to having a lot of fun out here with, with, with all of our guys. So do you just show up at uh, 22nd Street Landing and, uh, and, and enter? Yeah, you can. There's uh, plenty of, there's plenty of uh, uh, tickets available still, and uh, we, you can pay at the door. It's $75 uh, per person. We've got a great raffle, live auction, everything going on today. And all the money raised goes to benefiting all the great causes for CCA, right? Yeah, we got a lot going on, as you know, Pete. We got 30 by 30. That's still, we're still trying to fight. We got Wind Farm off the coast. Uh, we got the Chumash National Sanctuary that's back on play. So we got a lot of things that we're trying to get done right now. On top of our bill, 817, which is the uh, 12-month fishing license bill, it made it out of its committee and is going to go to the Senate floor, so we are so close to getting that one out finally after nine previous tries. Wow. That's fantastic, yep. Wayne. That's, so so the, the barbecue today is uh, 75 and that includes all the extras. Uh, they have a, a great raffle. Uh, you get a CCA membership with that, right? Correct. Yep, CCA membership, which we got we got to get more people to get involved with us because, man, we need help fighting as we expand and grow within – California and try to try to maneuver this state at all levels of government. 
Yeah, and if you're already a member of CCA, you get an ex- additional extension onto your CCA membership for a year just by joining. So once again, 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, uh, and uh, and it starts at 11 o'clock. And what's on the what's on the uh, menu? The menu is going to be barbecue. It's going to be uh, uh, pork and uh, beef and chicken. Oh all man! Free. Uh, all right, it's going to be good. Oh, sounds great. All right. Now, you also went out uh, with our buddy Captain Benny Florentino uh, this past Wednesday for the big Tommy P. Uh, you and Tommy P. for the big Tommy P. birthday uh, celebration. Uh, how was that trip with uh, with uh, Benny? Oh, man. Tommy Tommy P.'s annual birthday trip with, with Benny Florentino on Coastal Charters, always a fun time. I mean, it's just a group of friends going out and having a good time. You know, Catalina and the fishing right now offshore is what it is. It happened to be one of the off days, but we still caught fish. We worked it hard all the way around Catalina, and, you know, it was just one of those days. But, you know, I, anytime you can get out with Benny Florentino on that Ranger 25 and, and go out with a Tommy P and his lunch, and it's just all good. It's all yeah, good. sounds like fun. And, by the way, happy birthday to Tommy P today. Yeah, happy and, birthday, yeah, Tommy. Happy, and also uh, happy birthday to uh, Rancho Lanero's Pamela Benson, oh, too. Both so of them. happy birthday to both of yeah. them today. But, hey, Wayne, uh, CCA, big uh, L.A. benefit today at 22nd Street Landing. Starts at 11 o'clock. Uh, show up at the door, pay at the door, and go have some fun with the boys from CCA. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. All right. Thanks, Wayne. Appreciate that very right. much. Sounds like a fun time. All right. Hey, we're going to be right back on Let's Talk Hook Up. More of this Wounded uh, Warriors on the Water. Wounded Heroes on the Water. War Heroes on the Water. War Heroes, heroes. Thank on you. the Water. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to be right back. More with this when we turn on the Let's Talk Hook Up app in the Mightier 1090. Sea Keeper, the leader in marine stabilization, has launched its newest, smallest, and most radically different model, the Sea Keeper 1. Now, for the first time, stabilization is available for boats as small as 23 feet. The Sea Keeper 1 is designed to eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on vessels 23 to 30 feet. With a fresh new look, the Sea Keeper 1 has a compact flush mount installation and runs on 12 volt battery power. Installation is a breeze. It can fit under almost any seat. Now your skiff can enjoy the comfort and enjoyment that only a Sea Keeper equipped boat can provide. Check out the Sea Keeper demo boat at upcoming shows and arrange a free test drive. Sea Keeper has changed the lives of many Southern California anglers, including Pete Gray, and will allow you to stay on the fishing grounds when others need to head back to port. Visit SeaKeeper.com slash take a ride to arrange a demo. Eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on your trailer boat. SeaKeeper. Once you feel it, you'll never boat without it. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges. How do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hook Up listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the funnest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target. The expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfisherchargers.com. I can't wait to spend some quality time with my son fishing this year, teaching him about casting, how to choose bait, set the hook, and how to be safe on the water by always wearing a life jacket. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. This is the reel Southern California saltwater anglers have been waiting for. The new Shimano Torium 40 HG. From casting wahoo bombs while long-range fishing, fishing local tuna or rockfish, the new Shimano Torium 40 HG should be part of your arsenal. With more capacity, more power, and an amazing 31 pounds of drag with Shimano's carbon drag system, nothing rivals this addition to the Torium lineup. Captain Ben Florentino of Coastal Charters says Shimano engineered Torium 40 
for the way we fish on the West Coast. With casting gear on conventional tackle, Torium's power and fishability are rooted in its body. A rigid, all-metal Hagane body encases the Torium, delivering both stiffness and an impact resistance. Angler's actions are transformed directly into cranking power. Torium's S-Compact body design makes it easier for anglers to control hooked fish in critical situations. The new Shimano Torium 40 HD is now available at your local Shimano dealer. Grab yours today. Are you looking for an ultimate fishing destination? Well, look no further than Queen Charlotte Safaris Lodge in British Columbia. This is Valerie Helpridge. There's so many reasons to join us on your next fishing adventure, but a few of the highlights in fishing with us is the protected, calm, pristine waters for quality Chinook salmon all season. After you get your limits of salmon, Queen Charlotte Safaris will take you in our comfortable covered heated jet boat to our halibut, lean cod, and rock fishing areas. And we have larger retention than Alaska. Our beautiful lodge is over Look, Shingle Bay and Sunspit, and it's so easy to get to. You can fly from almost anywhere from the United States and Canada into Vancouver, then a short fly directly to Sunspit. Our trips are all inclusive, full days of fishing, custom processing, fishing license, and all your gear is provided. Let our expert chefs pamper you with amazing meals. Our staff delivers wonderful hospitality, all in your Queen Charlotte Safaris package. So call me at 1 877 815 2892 or qcsafaris.com. We look forward to seeing you there. San Diego. Do you need a vehicle that's built ready for your next adventure? Well, your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered with the 2021 Ford Ranger. This adventure-ready truck is built with durable features like its frame-mounted step bumpers and high-strength steel frame. But that's not all. The Ford Ranger also has an available terrain management system with four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Looking to tow your boat or trailer to your next adventure? No problem. The 2021 Ford Ranger can handle that too and has smart technology like Bliss with trailer coverage to assist changing lanes and makes driving so much better when towing your boat or trailer. Visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or buyfordnow.com to learn more. That's buyfordnow.com and they'll be glad to hook you up. 